days all along, some things will never change. The lonely loner seems to free his mind at night. What's up, guys, and welcome to your second Java tutorial. Today, we're going to be going over some of Java's development environments, such as Eclipse and NetBeans. And I know there's more, but those are two that I've worked with and I like a lot. So, on you go. And it just search for Eclipse and it'll be the first result, eclipse.org. And when we go in there, we'll go to the downloads. And there's two different ones you can get there's the IDE for Java EE developers, or there's just the IDE for Java developers. And the IDE for Java developers should be more than enough. It's probably what you'll need for these tutorials. If you want to go all out and you feel like making web applications and whatnot, go ahead and get the EE developers one. But this one should be fine. And Eclipse. Eclipse is good. I like it. It's really easy. The layout's nice. And everything about it's just good. It even, I like the airs a little bit better. It's a lot more user friendly. Now we're going to go over to NetBeans. And that's NetBeans.org. And it's just on the front page to download it. NetBeans is not as graphically nice. This is what it looks like. It's got a little bit, not much, pretty standard run of the mill and it is horrible with trying to figure out what's wrong with it. I mean, it's it's doable, but it's a pain sometimes, and so if you're just beginning with Java, I suggest going with Eclipse. Alright, now here we have our first script that we ran in episode 1 just change the title to episode 2 so when you create a new project first file new project and then you'll be creating a new class and you'll be doing this in Eclipse and NetBeans and whatever you name it you just be sure that it's public class and then the name of the file and then make sure to make your public static void main string args and then we just system out print line and then something in quotations and then you are going to go to run and then run file and down here it's going to come out with hello or whatever you have it printing out and it's going to be the same thing in Eclipse just the locations are going to be a little bit different and it's still going to come up with the same output though Thanks for watching, guys.